What's up, brother? You know what I'm saying? We're here at Hot 9 7. Legendary. You know what I'm talking about? Moving on up. Hey, Shorty, we, we, we made it, man. <laughs> hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Finna uh, knock this interview out. Right. And um, it's, it's, we on the other side now. Uh -huh. we, you know, we, yeah. are, we used to be the ones That's doing that. But well, we still are somewhere on TV now. But, you know, now it's like vice versa and radio. Right, right, right. So it's going to be kind of dope. That's dope, man to see uh can we still respect the art right you know so to hear a different approach and hear how P's going to answer these questions <laughs> she ready i'm gonna be quiet during most of the interview because they say if you don't have anything nice to say or if you don't like if you don't say the right quiet. thing you might as well just not say nothing right you know what i'm saying because i got a lot of my mom you feel what i'm saying i got a lot of my mom <laughs> somebody might be fraud <laughs> Get a quick glance of what, quick glance of what I really need, so I remember. Lights, camera, okay. Right. Yo, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are sitting here with two of the brand new hosts from 106 and Park, Shorty yeah. and Pageon. Correct? Yeah. Did I say that right? Yes. Yeah. Focus. Focus. Oh, you need some, some motivation. motivation. Yeah. <laughs> this is the biggest and best radio station in New York City, and you are now part of an elite group of guests. Oh, yes. So let that soak oh, yeah. in. Especially our recent. Feel that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. got All you gotta do is show up. You get an interview. You caught the vibe? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. see it? Yeah. Yeah. Up. Um, <laughs> I got it. So what's good? Uh, well, how's, the, how's the new job? Man? It must be exciting for y'all. Yeah, yeah, it's dope. Every day, you know what I'm saying? Get to go and do something you love, get paid for it. You know what I'm saying? Have fun, be on TV. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a blessing. So what's the background? So we were talking off camera, and you said that you were in radio for 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. But you look like a baby now. Yeah, <laughs> 23, you were in radio for 10 years, so. Yeah, I started when I was 12. It was like a rare, like, like, the contest never happened again. I was born and raised in St. Louis. They had a, quote, they called it World's Youngest DJ Contest. I won the DJ, though. But you know what I'm saying? You basically sit in the tape, introduce to somebody like you would on the radio. I did that. They picked me. Um, I was only supposed to be on for a month, but I wasn't getting paid or anything, so I was on from when I was 12 to when I was 16. I was just showing up every Saturday morning. I had a two-hour Saturday morning show from 10 a.m. Mm. to noon. The hate must have been <laughs> immense for you. Like, yeah. I'm sure all the people were hating on you because you were so young. Yeah, and, and I was still, like, I didn't go to private school. Like, I was still going to public school. I was still, like, I was, I went to, like, Yo, you know, you know what I would have hated? You know what I hated the most? Me. If I been, if I been working, <laughs> no, if I been working, and listen, if you've been working at that radio station, let's say you're about 30, 27, 25 even, 23, uh, the people that uh, and you were doing overnights, yeah. and Saturday morning, you want, what time were you on Saturday morning? Yeah. That's not a bad shift. <laughs> that's your shift right now on the weekend. Yeah, when I have my Sunday show. Exactly. Like that's not a bad shift. If I've been doing overnights, woo, I'd be yeah. tidy. That's, I would have waited for your 12 year old that. <laughs> <laughs> you would have problems. There you go, right there. It's still coming, but there had to be a lot of love too. I mean, the yeah, girl yeah. must have been checking for it. I mean, it was it was it was weird because you know, like when I got it, like it was just so many. Like I couldn't touch the board. I had somebody running the board for me. Oh, so you were already up there? That's yeah, what happens like, when you like in the big league. <laughs> <laughs> you have a board up too. Oh my god! I mean, one time I showed up though when I was like it was like when I was like fourteen, nobody was there, and so I like ended up running my first break and I was so and me and my mom was in there going crazy. I'm like, oh that's how I learned I taught myself because nobody was there. So oh, wow. but then when I turned sixteen I got hired full time. Like you know, I had you, did, what, you didn't get paid for four years? You know, four years. <laughs> Yo, that was so well. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, last man experience in the resume. Yeah. Yeah. So I was really just doing that to build my name, you know what I'm saying? And then it just the timing was so right. And then when I turned 16, they put me right on at night. So I was going seven to midnight. Where was this exactly? In St. Louis. 16 years old, St. Louis, seven to midnight. Like full time. At 16. Yeah. Killing you. That's crazy. <laughs> Listen, and it's a good thing you won that contest because the other contest right before was to be Murphy Lee's personal grocery. Ah! And it was nice that he won that contest. Yeah. <laughs> now, Pajan, you're from St. Louis? No, I'm from Detroit. Okay, so how? what's your background? I started um, like 14. I was a, a high school reporter at a competitive station. I was working at. So um, I would just do that and then I started. In what do you mean a high school reporter? Uh, I would just come in and just smash everything that 
was going on at school, like, oh, we got basketball game tonight, and I had like the smallest segment ever. But on the high school show? No, it was actually like the, oh, the newspaper. Yeah, no, like the Drive at Five. Like it was the it was number like one station in the seven. city, but it was like. Oh, you got on the radio too? Yeah, that young. so I was fourteen. But what the hell going on? <laughs> 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 they opened it up for the high school kids, so I just took advantage of that opportunity, and then um, I went off to the school, uh, studied at Western Michigan University. I studied film there, and then I started interning at a Radio One in Detroit. Wow. And I went through like a bunch of morning shows and started with Tommy Joyner and Ricky Smiley and a bunch oh, wow. of shows and working promotion at the same time. So like and you went through the pantheon of black middle aged radio shows. Five, yeah, like five thirty in the morning to seven thirty at night every day. Damn. And then um had an opportunity to get on the air on the weekends and I started off uh, Oh, so you weren't even on the air when you were just No, I wasn't on the air on. and then she just gave me a shift Saturday at like two o'clock. I'm in the afternoon drive. It's a winning weekend. It's a whole lot of pressure. And she was like, I don't want anybody to be in there with you. Just work your own board. You'll figure it out to sink a swim. <laughs> wow. And I wow. swam and I was stroking it. And then I yeah. And she put me on, on Sunday and I started doing that. And then midday, like two months later, I had a midday full time. But you yeah. guys had already been doing other stuff with that. Yeah, we had did yeah. 106 a couple times. I had did like the red carpet at the Grammys for them. Like just we just did like little spots. We did the um BT notarized, you know, so that's pretty dope. Yeah. It's crazy because you know, I I know people who um, are actually in the same city as BT. You're not black. <laughs> How many times? He's hating my job. Yeah, he's he's not not I can't get a phone call from BT to do anything. But you're not black. And you need a shave and a new shirt. So. No, that's, no, that's besides the point. Okay. You need to be black to be on the channel. Black. And I cover black entertainment. Who cares if I'm personally black? Right, right. I feel you. I did. You can't have a white talent on a black channel at no. all. It's a segregated channel. That's what we're doing now. Black entertainment television. So it yes. is for black, by black, only watch if you're black. That's it. I'm glad you're saying that. You can probably get up there. You can probably get up there. No, he's just yeah. saying it out loud so you can understand the truth of it. Yeah, thank you. I'm trying to work through this. Hold on. So I need to know my role. <laughs> I go to white entertainment. You got... Okay, let me see. How many channels on the TV? Let's say 400. You got 399 other, 398 other channels. Well, I'm not, I don't qualify for the white channels either. I cover hip hop, so I'm screwed. Well, you're too black. With radio, like y'all know, like, I mean, you get liners and stuff, but if you know the points you got to hit, you just pretty much talk. And, but I mean, you know. people, what's the response from people? You out somewhere and they're like, oh, that's. Yeah, exactly. Like, people notice you more. Like, mm -hmm. I get, and you see the progression, like, with every day because you got millions of people watching every day. Somebody that's watching today, they didn't watch yesterday, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's random when people see you because it's like, even if they don't automatically know where it's from, they be like, hey, I know your face, you know? So, I kind of like it, though. Hey, John, I'm sure the fellas, they're like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool. No, we've been getting a, a great response. So, things, like you say, things are going well. And you, like you said, you see the progression in it. Because maybe from the first day, we're just maybe one or two. And then now it's like more people start to notice. And you, you see your demographic as well. You see a bunch of kids. Well, like, the demographic ah, is cool, but I'm talking about the dating arena. You know, you guys are young, <laughs> you're popping, you're on 106 and Park. Uh, <laughs> I thought they were young. No. What? <laughs> when the other guys from the show were here, they made it sound like. Oh, we don't, they don't. Is that, are you guys together? Is that? Whoa, fuck. No. I like how y'all set that up. Like this is dope. Yeah. Like, and then like, he's the. Then, no. I was like the, for the end. Oh, what? No. It's on the list. Right what does it say on your list? Well, we're about to start some drama, guys. Perfect segue. I've been. I've done this a couple times. I watch a lot of TV, a lot of cop shows. Okay. And Criminal Minds is my new favorite. So I can study behavior. Oh. I can body tell language. body language, flinching of the eye. So what do you want to see? Biting of the lip, like, like you just said. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting to that yet. I want to know about some of the guests you've had on 106 and Park. Okay. Okay. Who has been the worst? Who has been the most divas? Or the I'm most sorry? Divas? You said the most what? Divas. 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 I mean, diva is. Who deviated the most? <laughs> okay. you know, I, can, I can answer the diva is off back. Oh, so, off top, please. Nicki Minaj. Off top. Really? Just because. Surprise. I mean, but listen, no, it's, it's not, and, and, and this is not to knock her, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, it's certain people who you meet and they've done a lot and they have a on and off switch. Right. But Nicki Minaj, she don't turn it off. Oh, she wrong. don't turn it off. Them cameras go off. She, where my lady at with my mirror, my lip gloss? Come get me together. Woo, woo, woo. Like, she woo, 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 woo. You know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo. Like, <laughs> she she well, I personally think whatever she did was deserved, and I like it. Oh, boy. 
Ah, here we go. Uh, I'm just being. Ha! <laughs> then he hits the camera. Me and Nikki are getting it right in 2013. Trying to make it right. Yeah. Okay, I figured, you know, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to set the. Clean this up in 2013. I got you. <laughs> so let's go over a couple names, see what you guys come up with. Okay. Right. How is 2 Chains? 2 Chains is cool. He's cool. I know I him before 106. You knew him as Tip. Yeah. Okay. Because you looked over there. What? I don't know if your eyes went over there. Oh, nobody's over there. This is the thing. This is what he said. He can tell. Right, he can tell. He's reading it all. No, he cool, though. Like, I can hear, like, his DJ, my man. Like, I can hear, like, I don't, we done been in other cities and been out together. Like, we cool. Yeah, we did notarize together. Yeah. So. Waka Flocka. Flocka! Flocka, Flocka, Flocka. hasn't been on since we've been on. All right, all right, all right. How's Rick Ross? Rick Ross been on there? He hasn't been on. He hasn't been. Since I've seen him. I've, I've seen, seen him. Seen him. Trinidad James. He cool. Trinidad was cool. He cool. That was cool. Yeah, that was cool. That was real. Yeah. That was real right there. He dropped his shoes off. He cool right now. Tell you see, he dropped his shoes off. Ti, you got a tip on the show. Tip is always cool. Always cool. Down to earth. He's a gentleman. Yeah, so the show. So far, you're not getting any. You're not. No, two chains was all eyes deviated. No, that's the homie. That's the homie. Wait till when they put it in slow motion, you'll see. Okay, all right. We have that effect. Is that possible? How was Snoop Lion? Snoop Ja Rastafari. That's what I was waiting for. That was my man Snoop. Man Snoop reincarnated. Man Snoop the man. I can't say that bad about Snoop. Snoop, I got high it's thoughts. Kind of I have high thoughts of Snoop Dogg. Snoop Lion. Sound like you guys so. may have had a session afterwards. I have high thoughts of Snoop Lion. <laughs> what about Chris Brown? How was Chris Brown? Uh, I, I had a lot in LA. What's up there? Uh, I had to think, there? I had to oh, think like, yeah. uh, huh? was he out in New York? No, he what's wasn't. Up there? But that's when we did up there? when we did a show she in LA. She was way up there. I, had to think. I don't know what's up there. Chris didn't come to the This first 48 or what is this? What but is we're bringing it back. Come to Martin. And he came out in LA. He brought a seven. Seven His straight. artist. Yeah. Now I don't know about seven or none of that. I know you looked up. Up was New York. Four. Oh no, LA. It was uh, West Coast. So yeah, it was cool. What about uh what about Bow Wow? How's Bow Wow to work with? <laughs> He's All eye contact. Ooh, with me. Law, really? Ooh. Oh, oh, really? They hate Bow Wow? I guess really? so. Oh my God! What? Like, I can't sense it. It's him. I, I, I'm just here. Sight. We just want to make sure that you got it. How's bow. bow wow to work with? Cool. Oh, see, this is what he's doing. Now, he I see, like, your eyebrows. Your eyebrows oh. going. Oh. But see, what's great, like, a lot of that stuff, like, you know, we just told you he's on that side. So. Listen, yeah. I've been watching 106 in Park for the last three days, 24 hours three straight. Days. Three, three days. Get your tell. Three days. Three days. Three days. Three days. Three Three days. 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 Oh God! He's he's he. You know he's different from us because he's already had that name. Right. So if ever if ever a time to come in, like it might something that we might feel a certain way about, but we ain't gonna say nothing because we knew. You just tell Bow, and he gonna say it. Yeah. Right. Hey, get mad at Bow Wow. That's Bow Wow. Yeah. What is the deal with you two being together? What's the deal? Okay. What about all your shit? That's right. Oh, <laughs> are you looking at Are you catching the? The body language? Uh, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Uh, we can't uh, talk about it. We can't talk Discuss. about it. Kids, what's it? We can't. So we can't. We can't. Keyword. Personal. Can't. Is, is what I'm going Personal is personal. Yeah. All right, so I guess, so that was as obvious a non-answer as ever has been given. That one was history. more obvious than the two Take chains. Take yeah. right. yeah. 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 This is more. Yeah. This is the one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey. Don't ever try to put something over on us. Yeah, you see how you see that it. though? I felt that my mm. language. Mm. You make that. Say, word. say, you're like a savant. This is like Rain Man. <laughs> okay, He's like, I'm, I'm I've been searching for years for my talent. And you have right. it now. Right. Finally, finally. So you guys <laughs> are gonna have a baby soon. Wow. Yeah. 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 It sounds like you guys are right. focused on your careers, and this yeah. is definitely a platform where you can take it to wherever you want to go. Yeah. Right. So what's yeah. the next step for you guys? I mean, of course, one of six and Park is. What you're doing now, but right. you gotta have that side hustle popping on. Right. Um, well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I gave up a, a lot of my other hustles, you know, when I got this job because I wanted to be on the right side. No, I just went. You had to put down the pain. I know what it is. Me too. I put down everything when I came here. But I mean, I, 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 I noticed one thing like certain things open up other doors, you know what I'm saying? So I always want to get to acting. I've been doing music forever, you know what I'm saying? Like so, rapping or producing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, rapping, okay. writing. You know, um, I used to be signed in Atlantic when I was like 14, 15. This kid. 12 years old. Burnt out at 32. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that is. 
as of, as of right now though, you know, we we um what four or five months in. You yeah, know, so we really five. still getting yeah. set on that. It's your main focus. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You are new to a whole lot of people. You know, so you can't really How you like living in New York? You like it? We don't live in New York. No. Oh you know? Jersey? Jersey. That's the same thing. Jersey. Jersey. That's New York. No, it's, no, it's not. not. Yes, it is. No, it's Jersey not. has grass. What? Yeah. Trees. Hold Kids. on. That's the New York Nobody. area. Please don't come to my town <laughs> disrespected. I didn't disrespect. No, I just can't. Well, how close? How close? Ask. How close? Like right over, like West New York. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's New York. That's, Stop it. that's close. That's Although it is, it's like, be real. It is different to lay your right. head down at night no, outside of the city. No, but they still I'm, live in the New York. What I'm saying is, we come to New York every day to work. Yeah. How? Yeah. Li listen, when you live in that part of Jersey, that's New York. Right. Like that's you're living the New, New York. York life. If you get right. here at Hot 97, you live in New York. Okay. Now you live in a nicer area where you might have a couple of trees and stuff. And a target. I don't like the way you yeah. s rolling your eyes towards the beach. Oh in my New God! Yeah, right oh, eyes. now he's hitting on New no, York too. Bow Wow, two chains. Chain. Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Oh, she ain't no. Here go the. Here go the headline. Here go the headline. We got a headline. We got our headline. Here we go. Tweet it out, baby. Tweet the headline. You live in Jersey. Yeah. And you live in Jersey. Yeah. Ooh. Oh God, here we go. Here Lots we of people live in Jersey. What town do you live in? You know what town do you live in? They can't put their business out there. Oh, like, 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 yeah, like, oh. Yeah, like, they both live the by the P.F. Chang, all right, on River Road. <laughs> Get it right. Okay. Uh, we do even know that P.F. Chang. The P.F. Chang is real. It's real, delicious. And even the little lettuce wrap. That's true. Yeah. Oh, well, look, man, good luck, it. man. Uh, congratulations <laughs> on all your success. You, since you was nine. You, since you was ten. <laughs> <laughs> Making it happen in New York. I know, what the man. hell? Sure. So, we appreciate y'all having us on. Y'all know we got a lot of respect for what y'all do, man. Well, watch your back, though, because Chris Brown and 2 Chainz is coming for you. <laughs> 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 they already know it's love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be here.